Welcome back to YouTube. We have another game from in-depth tech reviews. And today Google released an unexpected update for Pixel users running Android 12. The update size ranges between 1.6 to 1.8 gigabytes. Till now, Pixel 6 and 6 Pro users didn't get a similar update, but it's only available for older Pixel models. And here I have it on my Pixel 5 to show you what's new, so let's jump in. Let's take a look at the build number really quick, and here on the Pixel 5 I have sp one and now let's take a look at the new features. I will start with the always on display. On the left I have the 4A running the original version of November 2021 security update and the Pixel 5 is running the newer one. The only change I noticed here is the always on display is now dimmable. So for example here is a piece of paper to block some light from both. Only the Pixel 5 display will become dimmer while the Pixel 4A is exactly the same and when I take it off and wait for a few seconds it will return back to normal. I also found some differences in the notifications shade. When you fully expand the quick settings area while having the media controls available, you will see a bigger margin between the small handle at the bottom and the media controls card. And now it's time for today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by cdkeyoffers.com. It's an online digital store that sells original Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount instead of the regular 20%. This special offer is available from the 1st till the 30th of November. So hurry up before the month ends and save yourself some cash. As you see, you can get a Windows 10 OEM key for $15.18, which is insane cheap. Please check the links in the description below and now let's get back to the review. After installing this build I found the animations to be more refined and faster. So for example when I unlock the phone using the fingerprint this animation is no longer lagging and when I expand the notification shade it's now more responsive similarly the app drawer. So regardless what you do on the OS you will feel better animations overall. So this will take us to the performance improvement. I did a Geekbench 5 test and I got 1635 for the multi-core score and 584 for the single core, which is better than the previous build. And thankfully this improvement is noticeable while using the phone. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I spotted in this build. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. So I hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.